in this video here I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to build a heavy duty bumper on pretty much any type of truck the first step is to have the vehicle sitting on a level surface that means the ground's flat all your tires have the right air in them and there's no problems with your suspension the second thing to do is to measure the stock bumper the bumper that was on this completely rotted off but you the bumper you're making should look like the stock bumper so it looks good so this bumper should probably stick out from the grill maybe five inches after measurements and removing the original bumper, the next step is to weld on your main mounting brackets. Usually about four inch angle iron works well for this. It will make a flat surface that's easy to work off of. It should go to the top of the bumper. It is important that these are very strong. They should be welded to the frame rails and then reinforced. Next, you are ready for the bumper to go on. Box tube or C-channel works well for this. It is important to pick a material that is strong, but not too heavy for the vehicle you are putting it on. If you want to make the bumper removable, this is also the time to do that. Keep it simple. Use two or four large bolts, at least 3 quarter or 19 millimeter, and make them easy to get to. Older boxy trucks, you can usually get away with a straight bumper. On most newer trucks, the bumper will need to curve so it looks right. Once the bumper is in place, weld on some skid plate bars. These are important to lift the vehicle over obstacles, instead of an obstacle getting caught and damaging the suspension. I found it is best to use individual bars instead of a continuous plate because a plate can pack up bad with mud that can be difficult to clean. This is also the time to add a winch if you want one. In my experience though I found it is best to just install a 2 inch receiver in the bumper then install your winch on a receiver mount. That way you can put the winch on the front back or anywhere else. Plus I found that the weight of a winch with the bumper is often too heavy for the suspension, especially if you are doing a lot of high speed off-roading. Next install your grill and light guards. C-channel or tubing works well for this. It should slant back slightly for aesthetics and it is best to have the bumper the furthest ahead point of the truck as that is the strongest area. But if you really want to be able to hit stuff hard, weld some support bars from the top of the grill guard diagonal back to the truck frame. Often though the radiator and some other parts make this difficult to do. This type of hydraulic tubing bender is inexpensive and works well for bending pipe. Make the pieces of tubing longer than they need to be, then trim them to fit after bending. It is important to install your winch mount and your tow hook in the center of the bumper. Vehicles tow much better from the center than from an offset tow hook. Half inch rebar or round bar 
works well to protect the headlights and the grill. I am installing larger mud tires and longer shackles to lift the rear suspension. I have had very good luck with Super Swamper tires. This vehicle has torsion bar front suspension. Cranking the torsion bars tighter will lift the front suspension for free.
The original bumper that comes on most vehicles is usually very delicate and will fail when coming into contact with almost anything. Building a bumper like this is a great way to improve a truck. It will prevent damage to the vehicle in many events that would have damaged the original bumper. I built this bumper quick, cheap, and easy. Someone who is new to welding should be able to do a project like this.